Well, hello there, all you great and wonderful folks. As you can tell, today is the day. Today's Black Friday. What does Black Friday mean? That means that Goose Island releases the new Bourbon County Stout. And I was able to score the base model, the 2021. Now, here in Arkansas, uh, we're not getting the variants. Like, we, we don't, I'm not going to get any of the variants. I'm not going to buy them off the shelf here, I'll put it that way. But I bet through the magic of friendship and family, I will end up with some variants. Uh, I've got plenty to choose from the trade for, so. Uh, but the cool thing was, is I got a couple of these hats. Uh, they were doing a promotion where we got the hats. And the nice little Bourbon County tulip glasses. So, we're going to give this beer a try. And as I do, I would just like to thank Todd and Andy for putting me on the Bourbon County Stouts. Over at 21090 Brewing, had I not met those guys, uh, and, and they enlightened me on the joy of barrel-aged beers, I would not know anything about Bourbon County Stouts. I will tell you that beyond a shadow of a doubt... The 2020 base model, the Bourbon County Stout 2020, is my favorite beer of all time. I am down to, I've got uh, 15 of those left. Uh, but the cool thing is, is they re-released the 19s and 20s here. So, for some reason we got the 19s, 20s, and 21s, but we didn't get any variants. So, I don't know. I don't know how all that works, but uh, Goose Island, uh, I really love bourbon county stout and if you would just get it to the river valley area of arkansas the variants i guarantee you you've got a customer that's going to buy them up now with that being said i've heard a lot of good things about this 2021 i'm pretty excited to try this i know it's a different taste it's a different flavor it's got a different new cool bottle cap on top there there it goes bam and uh, I did get a cool hat. This comes in at 14% on the dot on the ABV. I've uh, I surely have Bourbon County Stouts BCSs that I love and some that I like a lot, uh, but I don't have any I dislike. I have had several of the other variants. A Cafe Diola was one that really stood out to me. And uh, that, uh, if I ever get my hands on that birthday one, mm -mm. Uh, I'm really interested in some of the variants that came out this year. Let's get this open. Mm. But I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just real excited for this base model. I'd love to have the variants. I've got a hookup. I'm going to get some. Don't don't get me wrong. I've, I've got a really good friend down in Texas, Travis, Groovy Lava Squirrel Medic. We're going to work something out. Oh, man. There it is, folks. My first pour of the 2021 Bourbon County Stout. Nice. The head is pretty thin on this. Is it? Is it boozy? Oh. Oh, the nose on that is different. You get the chocolate and the coffee for sure, but there's a... It's almost like a, a fruity note. Almost like a date or something. A fig. Mmm. I'm going to let that sit there for just a second while I enjoy this. Mmm. I have heard that there's different notes, uh, different flavors involved with this one as opposed to last year. And uh, even beyond like the uh, the 2019, uh, the 2019 is one of the weaker ones. But if you took the 2019 BCS and label it up as any other kind of beer, it would blow you out of the water. Like if you put that in Joe Bob's barrel aged beer can and put that on the shelf and you tried it, it blow you away so they don't make a bad bcs just some are a lot better than others i know recently when 21090 did their 10-year vertical 
Uh, the 2020 actually come in third, which hurt my heart, but you got to understand, I have not tried all those years like they have. I can only imagine how the 2010 and 2017 must have tasted. So I'm getting excited. I'm letting this sit for just a second. Mm, mm. Let's see if we get anything new here. Mm, I don't know, man. This has got it smells a little different. Well, the moment of truth. Let's get into this thing. Mm, that is a that's a different hit, man. That is a that's not as sweet as they usually are. Mm. I do uh I heard a lot about kind of the anise taste. There is a little little hint of that, just a little hint. Mm. The mouthfeel on this one is uh of course this is a brand new, this is a new beer. But uh, the mouthfeel is a little bit uh thinner than the 2020 and I don't mean to sit here and compare this to the 2020 they're each their own beer every year these come out but I think oh, let me I think I would rate this uh, as of right now as my first drink just opening this I would kinda give it that 2019 uh, kind of ranking I think this is a very good beer and like I said if this was a Joe Bob's beer company that put this bottle out it would blow me away it's a very awesome excellent beer very different tasting than the 2020 uh, in a very different kind of way there's a nice throat burn on this it is it it's not as high proof as some of the others I believe the 2020 was 14.6 uh, but getting a nice finish, nice little throat burn. Mm. It's got the uh, of every BCS I've ever tried. This one's got more of a bitter hit than than most of them do. And don't get me wrong, I love this. This is awesome. It's delicious. Uh, but 2020 is still going to hold my top spot of the. Of the base models that I have tried, which are limited, uh, for me, the 2020 is the best, then the 2018, then the 2021, then the 2019. And I do have uh, one 18 left. I did find I had one 2018 left. I've got five or six of the 19s and about 15 or 16 of the 2020s. And I bought a whole case of this today, so... This is probably going to be, when I went and bought the Ozark Brewing uh, Company's BDCS this year, almost kind of the same thing happened because it was so young and so new. Like, I, I feel like the, the mouthfeel is really going to mellow out and settle into these. Mm. But a, a very different taste. Not so much uh, of the chocolate. Um, if, if there is a chocolate hit, it's a very dark chocolate. There is a little bit of that raisin date kind of fig fruitiness to this. Very, uh, very light on the coffee flavor to me. Like I'm not picking up a ton of coffee. You can smell the coffee. But on the mouth hit, it's a, uh, it's almost got like a cola taste to it, with just a nice little bitter aftertaste. The the bitter aftertaste is not overwhelming. It's not bad. You guys know I don't like uh, bitter hoppy beer, uh, but maybe, maybe there's just a little bit, just a touch, of hoppiness to this. Yep, I think that's what it is. But very fine beer, 
very glad I picked up a case of this. And thank you, uh, Chase, for the Goose Island hats and the Goose Island tulip glasses. I got two hats, two glasses, and I'm going back to another store where I, where I will pick up some more of this and I will get some more hats and glasses and maybe maybe we'll do a little giveaway. How would I rate this out of five stars? I gotta be tough on my BCS's now. For me, as far as my palette goes, the 2020 is almost as good as you can get like it's the perfect balance of a uh, booziness sweetness chocolatey coffee goodness I will say that uh, the 2020 I would give like a 4.9 it's almost perfect this one I would give a I would say a 4 a solid 4 this is a very good beer, a very fine, well-balanced beer with a whole new taste, a whole new flavor profile. If if this was not labeled as Bourbon, Bourbon County Stout and it was in some other bottle, I would be going out of my way to buy more. I've already got a case of this. I'm sure I will buy some more. I, I think I could drink this uh, just about every day. Very good very fine beer not quite the 2020 uh, not quite the 2018 but it's a uh, it's a little better than the 2019 and I do have very limited experience with these I'm not, uh, I'm getting into it I love Goose Island I love Bourbon County Stouts it's been my favorite beer uh, since I started this mm, the mustache ride is it's pretty sweet on this it is a uh, it is sticky already and that's good because I think as these mellow out because I'm gonna I'm gonna age these for you know over the next few years I think as these mellow out in the bottle they're gonna get better and better as the 2019 did when I the first time I drank a 2019 wasn't impressed much uh, but seems like nowadays when I try 2019 it's much better so I would give this four out of five stars a very nice addition but it uh, does not hold a candle to the 2020 my humble opinion on that thank y'all for watching I'm going to enjoy this and get ready for the weekend of work and uh, by the way I uh, did get me a new bottle of McCormick's right there I found that and uh, Todd right there can't wait to try that with you. That is the Elijah Craig B521. I finally found me a bottle of it. Y'all rock. I love y'all. And uh, I love Bourbon County Stout. Don't get me wrong. This is a great beer. But when you start trying to compare it to the 2020, it's that's rough. I can only imagine what a 17 and 10 must taste like. Love y'all. Cheers. We'll see you in the next video. Rock on. Mm. Here how sticky that was. My lip stuck to the glass. Love y'all.